on the floor where they're on their back, you will also want to try making sure that everything is all in a line. So very neat, very head needs to be up here. You want to make sure that the toes are pointing up. Arms are flat. If you can get this for however long you can convince your child to stay, I think that's a great one. After this, you're going to want to try and take your child's arm. You're going to hold on to their hip or their ribs. Hold on here. And come up again above the elbow, between the elbow and the shoulder and come up as far as your child will go. Barry can come up here and go around because he has no stuffing. If you need to, you can switch. Put this hand here and take your opposite hand to help move back and forth. What this does is it kind of gives you a little bit more um, ability to help push a little bit so that you're using your stronger muscles against their weaker ones. Another one you can do is go over and across. You can make them dance like um, disco dance. So you're going to go from the opposite hip up to the top, opposite hip up to the top, opposite hip up to the top. Again, the point is to keep motion to, to have motion, to have fun while you're doing it, have an interaction with them, right? You can also see if they can pull out a sword. So you're going to have them almost point their hand here, like they're, like they're holding a sword, and then bring it out. So sword to your mouth, sword to your mouth, sword to the mouth, sword to the mouth, on one side or both. I'm a big fan of doing it on both sides just because we have two of them. We might as well try doing it on both. Another thing, especially if your child has posture where his shoulders are rounding forward, you want to try and unround the shoulders up this way. So shoulders are kind of up and in. Sometimes just laying like this is really hard. You may need to have a pillow or a towel or a blanket underneath just so that your child's head is supported. But you can also gently from the top here push and you're going to try and push and unwind. If the shoulders come forward, we want to push and unwind. So you're going to take this part right here and push down. You may need to brace here at the hip and push. And Barry, of course, has no stuffing, so he comes out really nicely. You may also need to come up underneath the arm and pull up and back, pull up and back. Let me see if I can make that a little bit clearer. So my arm is way forward, go up and back. But if you see my whole body moved, so if we were doing this um, for your student, you'd really want to brace and try and make sure that only your shoulder is the one that's moving. So we want it to kind of come out and back. Um, if you can, arms over the head, both sides. Again, you want to, if it's a difficult motion for your child, you'll want to have them here between the shoulder and the elbow and pull up and over. We also want to work on side lying. So side lying to either side is really important to help prevent scoliosis. So you can 
make this so that the bottom leg is bent so that it's got you have a little bit more support you're going to hold on to that hip and see if you can have them reach forward and reach forward regardless if you do have scoliosis or if your child has scoliosis or doesn't you want to go on both sides that means that there will be a side that is more like this and one that is more like this so on the side that's more like this gravity helps straighten it out you may need to move their hips a little down here at the bottom and all i'm doing is coming straight up underneath and just kind of scooching that around again that's going to be to your child's tolerance but i'm going to go right at the shoulder and right at that hip right where you hang in those pants and just kind of give a gentle overpressure not a lot this is generally uncomfortable especially if you are laying <laughs> i'm sorry i'm having trouble with this if you're laying like this if you're pushing right on that you want to make sure that you are pushing sideways and not down I'm going to push sideways to open up those spaces and not down which will only get that one spot and that's generally pretty uncomfortable so you just want to push out and down right at the shoulder and right where you hang those pants right on that hip bone you'll see too that there are the ribs and then the muscles in between the ribs you can take that you can take one or two fingers and just gently rub. Some people think this, think this feels fantastic. Some people think it feels awful. Some people think it feels ticklish. Some people think it is the weirdest sensation ever. But what happens is those muscles in there get all locked up. So if you can get in there and just gently mobilize them, just give them a little massage, it's not something that they generally feel, then you will be able to try. You can see how what your child feels like in there. And that can go for all of them, all the way up and down. And like I said, your child will let you know which one it is. It might be worth warning them, hey, this might feel weird. Because most of the children that I've, ha I've worked with it feels weird more than anything okay another way to do this is with the bottom leg down I'm gonna move this a little bit the bottom leg hooked knee bent you're going to hold on to that hip and help guide you may need to go underneath especially if your child's leg is really heavy you may need to go underneath and hold on top of the knee so up between the knee and the hip and help bring back you want to make sure that this part of the body doesn't move just the leg that can be hard which is also why you can brace their bottom against your legs as you are doing this hip extension there's not a whole bunch of hip extension that you need to do, especially if your child sits in the chair. They're going to be more used to this position. And so anything we can get to neutral is going to be great. In fact, after that one, you may try even having them go over onto their belly and really working on that. Of course, here you need to make sure that your child is able to breathe. Barry needs a little bit of help to move his head up. We can do prone prop so we can move his head onto his arms, which you can't see, but he can then work on that. He'll work on shoulder stability. This will naturally help bring that shoulder back. And again, he's all in one line, one straight line. Hopefully that's helpful. We can go over this at your next visit.